Ooh. <clears throat> I have a lot of phlegm tonight. I need to drink more water. Ooh. Are you checking your temperature, Mark? Mm-mm. Taking medicine. What the fuck is that? A little uh, CBD THC vape. It looks like a sigil like It does. No shit. Disposable. What is it? PTS. PPS. What's what? the name? Of, what's the brand on there? Oh, I have no idea. Are you gonna be all high and crazy tonight? No, I'm gonna try my best not to. B. Right. Oh, I want to know why ST shot Mark. It was on Fox News. Thank you, Terry. Speaking of that, Ford has a brand new car, the Ford Focus ST edition. <laughs> Ford Focus ST. I saw that today. And I was thinking to myself, congrats, ST. ST actually messages them if you get one for review. Yes. Would he even fit in a fucking... No, there's no way. No, he wouldn't fit in an ST. <clears throat> yeah, it's the first uh, YouTube vape celebrity collaboration with a major motor company. Mm-hmm. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> ST will put his name on anything. Yep. All Ooh. right, Mark, are you comfortable? Or are you settled in? I'm as comfortable as I'm going to get. Does the nurse need to check on you or anything? Mm, no, I'm All good. Right. Mike, 20 minute intro? That's it. Uh... Live, 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 live. Good evening, everybody. Live. Welcome back to the vape team. It's getting weirder and weirder, isn't it, Mike? Get out of here. <laughs> Very weird. Do you getting ever notice fucking the older weird. you get, the more noise you make? You ever make noises just to make them? Yeah, they're called dad noises. Yep. yep. Making a lot of, lot of noises of them. Uh, uh, like, uh, <clears throat> And I have to like situate myself with my feet and legs now when I shit just to get a clean break. Because <laughs> the order you get when you don't get a clean break in the back door, it ends up cracking off and you pay for it all day long. Dude, I haven't had a clean break since high school. <laughs> it's because you get your shit pushed in. I gotta, I gotta, when I take a shit, I gotta wipe all day long. Yep. <laughs> all right. Well. Welcome to the debate team, everybody. The motherfucking great team, Cloudy Entertainment, for that S. 267 is the number, and the doctor will see you now. We have a, we have a very, very special, special guest with us. I'm going to introduce him first. His name is Gil Bladder, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gil Bladder. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Gil. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Gil. <laughs> also, Gil. the man with the master play of the King of Clouds, Mr. Matchy and Matchy, the matchstick man, the third lung, the iron lung, the Greek god of modern vaping, Mount Olympus, the King of Clouds, the cloud fucking commander, Mikey motherfucking vapes. Good evening, Greg, Sid, Chat, Steve. That's it? I know, right? <laughs> I was thinking of more names. Wow. Mm. Terry's in chat. Terry, Barry, good evening. Good evening. Squirrelly. <clears throat> um, Mark, do you, want, do you want to Bye. apologize to the audience uh, for your tardiness? I just want to know, do people do, do people over 40 still have clean breaks? Or is it just me? Because I don't have a clean break. But I was not tardy. I was actually here. I was here last week. What are you talking about? You were I was here last You were late week. tonight. Was it late? I've been here fucking. It was two hours before you guys even got in the room. Dude, why did the show start late then? Because you were fucking too busy fucking around. Uh, I don't think so. 
talking about how you're putting your name on this mod and you didn't have nothing to do with it. Here we go. Here we go. (laughs) The truth comes out. (sighs) Kind of like the bulk. Yes. Yep. Um, So anyway, we're going to start off with a little bit of uh, buffet action. We've got a lot to talk about tonight, but we're going to do some buffets. We're going to let you know what we're vaping on, and then we'll move on with the show. So, Mark, what are you He doesn't even know the name of it. Uh, I was going to call it the Gust <laughs> G. I don't know why, but uh, Caliburn G. This is my hospital mod here, folks. Use that every day in the hospital and in the oh, ER. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Southern Comfort, $2. Interrupt, Mark. I can see the cheap piece of shit himself is in chat. What's up, Southern? He's uh, giving this you is more a... money than you've made in your career. He ain't sending me shit. He's sending everybody else money but me. But <laughs> that's Lost Fape, I think. We got Lost Vape, we got uh, Aspire, or it's the other way around. We got, uh, is this more Aspire? I think that's Aspire. I reviewed it like two days ago. We got some three milligram looper, plastic bottle, don't get too excited. We got Vaporesso with some BTFC. I don't even know why I keep holding this bottle up because it's pretty much empty. And then we got another $2 off. from Southern we Comfort. We got $2. For the goddamn Caliburn G there to take away Brian. He interrupted you. You piece of shit. I'm going to take that $2 and clean your urethra with it. Another $2 from Southern Comfort. Interrupt Mark. Ugh. There we go. Um, there's a lot of people in chat that are interested and kind of s- strangely excited about the musky smell of the Caliburn G. Is there an odor? That was delicious to me. I, I have a clean ass 24-7, so. We got another $2 from Southern Comfort. Interrupt, Mark. Keep rolling it in, you son of a bitch. Keep yep. rolling it in. <laughs> My buffet is over, motherfucker. Now it's on Brian. Oh, okay. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll start off the buffet tonight with that Nunu from Joe Turner. <laughs> Joe sent me a little care package. Mike, do you ever eat the treats that Joe sends? I used to. Yeah. But since I, the diet and everything, I... I don't eat them anymore. He sends like sweet tart type stuff. Like you'll get like a pixie stick or two, and then he'll send like a, maybe a lollipop or something like that. But it's all brands that you've never had before, so it tastes similar to what you're used to. Another Southern Comfort two dollars. Interrupt, Mark. Um, but anyway, I got the brand new strawberry cream. Ooh, strawberry cream from Royal. If you're interested, Joe Turner, baby, RoyalVapeProducts.com. It, did he change his website, Mike, or is it still RoyalVapeProducts.com? It's uh, Royal Vapes I O M. Yes. Right? Royal Vapes I O M dot com. I got a, a sticker that he sent, and it had the new website on it. In or on my mouth? I don't think that's what I O M stands for. <laughs> okay. I don't think so. Southern Comfort two dollars. <laughs> Tell Mark to shut up the next time he talks. Ah, uh, shut up. What I wouldn't give to fucking strangle him. <laughs> he, dude, I'm sure he'd come to your trailer and fuck you up if you wanted he'd, him to. He'd come to my trailer and fuck me. That's damn shit. Sure. Yeah. Angel <laughs> Gomez, five dollars, just stopping in for a minute to show support. Thanks, Angel. Appreciate it. Much love to you. Uh, uh, also, I got another flavor from Royal. Now, I was a huge fan of vanilla custard from Royal, and uh, I'm vaping on vanilla swirl. Mm. Vanilla swirl, which is a brand new one, new from. I think Mike's had these for a couple weeks now, but uh, Royal vanilla swirl I got tonight. I'm vaping that in the heavy hitter with the recurve dual on top. Recurve dual. I actually have a fresh build and a fresh battery in here. (laughs) I know it's... (laughs) (laughs) I shit you not. Look. Yeah. Hold on. That's been the same build in there since the last vape expo he went to. I'll show you. Does that look like a fucking old build? Look at that, huh? It's fresh. Fresh as fuck. Looks brand new. Someone must have did that. You did not do that. I did it, my dude. Come on. Amy, Amy built it from. Yep. Let me tell you, I still love vaping like this for flavor. It's the the other way I vape is just for nicotine and for busyness and less juice and all that kind of shit. But throwing a fresh build in with brand new coils with new liquid, I'm banging. Yep. So we got that rolling tonight. I don't think there's ever going to be a mouth to lung or daily vape carry setup that's ever going to replace the flavor and the enjoyment that I get off of taking big, cloudy, flavorful hits. 
It's just it's two different two different things for me. I don't know. Southern Comfort two dollars. Don't even trip mark. You know I can take you. Of course you can. He has been in a knife fight though, so you got to be careful. His body's uh, very t- very tender right now. He's gonna take me to the woods and rape me. Is what he's gonna do. Yeah, he is. Uh, I got the Aegis Boost as always. Still working on that tip. That's fucking disgusting at this point. Aegis Boost. This is actually the Aegis Boost Plus. How is there not mold on that tip? Because I washed the tip off, but the bite marks. But this drip tip, I don't know what fucking kind of drip tip this is. But th- look at the thick thickness of that thing. This thing holds up to my serious biting. So this has been holding up well. Uh, no battery, no build, no problem. The clutch with an RDA for vaping. <laughs> we have absolutely nothing in there. I, I'm showing this off purely as a promotional piece because... If you want, right now on hitthatjuice.com, there's clutches in stock. Right, Mike? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, also, this little baby Aegis Hero, I think it's called. The Aegis Hero. Is that the hero? That's the hero. Hero. I got the Aegis Hero. And what else do I got? I think that's Gonorrhea? it. Gonorrhea? I'm, I, I'm nope. not going <laughs> to talk about that. But I am, I am on a prescription medication. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to tell you which antibiotic it is, but... Take it away, Mike. Good evening. Good evening. All right, I'm vaping on the uh, Rebirth on the uh, Clutch Limited Edition. Just got this in today. Got myself one. Oh, by the way, Ricky Mahoney, if you're watching, I have it. You never emailed me. I'll give you till tomorrow, or I'll be listing it on hitthatjuice.com. I have one more of these limited editions, which I'll be listing on Hit That Juice. Vaping on that with the new, new. Strawberry cream, which I've been really enjoying. Good stuff there. Also vaping on the Regal, the Rigel, mm-hmm. the Regis, with the Intake <laughs> Duel. I got the Kathy Lee over here. The Regal, Rigel, Regis. There we go. Yep. With some raspberry custard, Joe Mother F. and Turner. Also vaping on This here, this is the uh, Vaporit something 21700 thingy. And inside here I have strawberry something. Whoa. Some strawberry something inside there. I'm also vaping on the Vupu Drag S. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the Aspire... BP80. Here we go. Here it's confusing, we... isn't it, Mike? It's so confusing. Well, yeah, it is kind of confusing. Jesus. Uh, uh, that looks really exactly like the Vupu. Wow. I get them mixed up. Hmm. Yeah, that's the new one from Aspire. I'm vaping on that, and I have uh, New York inside there. Notice I've been vaping a lot of strawberry lately. Remember Brian How was back in the day? Strawberry was everything. Oh, everything was strawberry. And then, then we just got sick of strawberry, and I vape, just didn't care for it. I'm back on that strawberry kick. New York, New York. New Inside York. there. Uh, I think I also have... So wait a minute. Hold up a second. I think this that's what's in here. No. Also vaping on the uh, Duke with the Requiem RDA. And inside there, I have strawberry cream. Wow. That Requiem is sexy as hell, I think. Yeah. Dude, it's nice. It's a good-looking RDA. Like it, it, like every RDA looks so similar. That uh-huh. thing is good looking. Yeah. Plus, this matched up beautiful because you see the black. It's got yep. the black, yep. black ultim. It just and the black stick. is the same like hue. I think. Yeah, that's it's just term. sick. And and well, yep, black battery. Yep. I don't fuck around with the matchy matchy shit. Nope. It's a nope. So anyway, I'm vaping on that. I'm also vaping on another Nunu. That just came in. It's called the uh, Ascent, the Ascent DNA seventy five C twenty one seven hundred. Ooh, yeah, and it's not that big. It's actually, I'm shocked. Anyway, twenty one seven hundred. I got the Whirl, the Whirl version two UL, and I have Taffy Splash, Blue Pucker, and Raspberry Custard. All three mixed inside there. A little concoction I made. Vaping on that. Uh, also vaping on the, what's this called again? The Fours? Fours by Vaporesso. The Fours. Fours? Is that how you say it? Fours? F-O-R-Z? Fours be with you. 
May the force be with you too. May the force be with you. So the camera's not working tonight. See, <clears throat> that's what I get for giving Steve the night off. Everything is all screwed up. Maybe right. it was called the Forza, and they just Forza. forgot to stitch the A in there. Maybe. And I got the intake MTL on top. Chicago. We have some Chicago 12 milligram inside there. Uh, what else? Oh, also vaping on the uh, Drag Max with the Drag RTA, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And in there, what do I have? I don't remember. <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> Dude, I put a liquid in here. I don't remember what I put in there. Oh, that's what it is. Another strawberry one. Strawberry macaroon. Dude, you are on that strawberry hit right now. What's yeah, I'm up? telling you, I have four different strawberries I'm vaping on. Holy Damn. shit. Over here. Actually, what I wanted to put in there was Royal Slush because I have that too. Royal Slush is good too. I like that. Vaping on that. Oh, ty Typhoon. Typhoon uh, GX on this uh, Grus mod. And I also have that concoction with the three different... Uh, Taffy Splash, Blue Pucker, and Raspberry Custard inside there. Damn, I, can, I can keep on going. Keep going. Of, nah, that's, that's, <clears throat> that's enough to show for tonight. By the way, we're changing the name of the show to Mike's Buffet. Mike's Buffet. buffet. <laughs> Dude, that might might have been the most epic buffet you've ever done. That was the epic buffet? It was all like, those was new shit. That's not epic. Epic was... Before the pod mods came out. Yes. Before pods and everything, when we used to do buffets, those long buffets, those were epic. They were definitely this long. This is just... The only thing here that I could say is epic. Is right Look right at there. that. That's that's epic. Is that the limited edition? Yeah. I, just, I did the same thing. I put a fresh build and cotton in the rebirth. Nothing better than a fresh build with fresh cotton. The best. Uh, Southern Comfort, $2. He said, Mark, looks, how did the breast reduction go? Pretty good. I, only, I was only able to afford one breast. <laughs> Look at that, that fucking one. disgusting. Oh, oh, that's that's a new bill, new cotton right there. No that's wonder just... you had a fucking hospital visit. Yep. Is that the bulk? I heard that build exactly that way comes pre-installed in, in, no, that, in the no, BTFC. That's, fucking, that's black as night right there. That shit is nasty. I need to rewick. I'm lazy. Just vape it. I usually vape my cotton until I start inhaling chunks of like old dried up sweetener, and then that's when I usually rewick it. Yep. So let's kick off the next section of the show because I'm sure everybody is interested. Mike, you and I have had a pretty busy week. We haven't really hung out with Mark very much. Do you have any questions you want to ask Mark about the situation? Now, is it true that you get the you got to keep the gallbladder? I wish. I asked, but they said they're not allowed to. I wanted to take it. There was, there was one or two things I wanted to do. They either do a video showing me taking it apart and pulling out the stones, or at least just give me one of the stones so I could taste them to see what they would taste like. Mark's Dr. Kevin is in chat. Oh, uh, here we go. And he said, Mark, I will be over first thing tomorrow for your rehabilitation <laughs> massage. <laughs> so I would it love the taste of stone. It, like. If you had a stone, you could get that thing put in a ring, and you could wear it. I think St had a stone ring made from one of his stones, didn't he? I, I saw St in chat earlier. Yeah. Mark would actually dry it out and smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> He'd snort it. Uh, He'd crack it up into powder, and then rip. I would want to taste. It. I mean, how can you not want to taste one of those stones? See what they taste like. Uh, like, are they sugar? Are they sweet? Are they salty? You'd probably break your dentures if you did that. Probably. Yeah. But yeah, no, was not lucky was not lucky enough to get that. So kind of a disappointment. I got nothing to bring back but a gown. That's it. Can you do me a favor? Can you stand up and grab that bread mod off the shelf over there? I'm not <laughs> So there's a problem. What's the problem? It's kinda of hard for me to wipe. And I took a shit earlier and I'm not sure if I got everything. So I can only reach so far. Oh, okay. So there might uh, be might be some poo on my ass. <laughs> Does Angela help you with that or not? No, that's she. She has a limit. That's her limit. Hmm. So I might. I'm gonna have to wipe before I stand up. 
Or what are you gonna wipe in your fucking chair? I'm gonna wipe with my gown. Oh, he should do what the dogs do. He's gonna like go on a carpet. <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> and scrape his ass on the carpet. <laughs> yep. Woo. Uh, so, Mark, what happened, man? Like, all I know is we started getting emergency messages that there was something going on. Give us the rundown of the pre build up, the event, and then the recovery. What, ha- what happened? Fill in the audience. Everybody wants to know. My gallbladder has been acting up for like six months. What does that I'm- feel like? It feels like an annoying, it wasn't even a pain. It's like an annoying something inside of your gut right here. Like it feels like there's a ball in there or something. And eventually over time, after a six month period, it starts to hurt. And then it came to the point where it's like, all right, I have to go to the hospital, even though I don't want to. And Angela kind of forced me to go. And then, yeah, luckily it was only a gallbladder issue. So they pulled it out. Most painful experience I've ever had in my life. I know something. just get the stone out? No, they just, they take the whole thing out. They just get rid of the whole fucking thing, apparently. They don't just take the stone out, but yeah. People say it was like, oh, yeah, it's a gallbladder. No big deal. That shit's fucking painful, man. Woo. Did they do it laparoscopically? Yeah. Yeah. But it was like, woo. Like, it just feels like getting gutted. How many incisions did they have to make? Four. Four? And I guess it was two. They usually pull it through your belly button, but it was too big to pull through my belly button, so they had to make a separate hole. (laughs) They pulled it through his penis. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) But, oh, yeah, maybe I'll show the, the boo-boos later on when people are kind of, you know, not paying attention. So if saying that it's the most painful thing that you've ever experienced doesn't really say much unless you tell us what other – have you ever had any type of surgery before? No, I had a, a hernia surgery when I was a kid, so that doesn't really count. But no, I don't think I've ever had – I had a cataract surgery. No, so I haven't really had anything else done. Any- so I guess – in my opinion, that's the most painful thing I've had done. Any broken bones ever? Nope. I'm solid as a rock. I got fucking, I got muscles and bones that'll conquer anyone. Have you seen my chest lately? It's pretty solid. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you should have, you should have asked him if there was a way to take some of your, your gut out and maybe put it on your penis and enlarge that- it. Did you See, think my, about doing that? The thing I noticed, I haven't been in the hospital that many times, but the minute I went to the hospital, my penis like shrunk inside of me. Like the only thing that was sticking out was my the head of my penis. The whole time, the whole like two days I was there, and I know when I was on the operating table, they peaked. Everyone was taking pictures and sending them to their friends and laughing. It's all over. It's all over the internet. Mark. It's all over like Eastern Europe. I hear, I'm gonna be Inter- internet. My penis is gonna be one of those little fucking memes that you see on Google. Yep. Having a bad day, not as bad as this guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there'll be you lying there with with, t- with tape over your eyes, with people I know damn laughing well at you. Took pictures. I guarantee they took pictures. Like, wow, that's a grown man right there. Do you think that the gallbladder was bigger than your penis? Yes, most definitely. <laughs> most fucking def. One of the stones are probably bigger than my penis. Wow. It was bad. Huh. Now. Did they gas you, or did they uh, put you to sleep? Sleep. They get ga- well. They gas you, and then they tell you. Uh, well, my the one guy was telling me to dream of Mexico. He's like, dream of being in Mexico. I'm like, why would I want to dream about being in Mexico? But once you I got started that dream- next door, yeah. <laughs> once I started dreaming about Mexico, I was gone. You've never been to like Cancun and stuff. It's gorgeous. No, as far as I've been is like south of Chicago. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Huh. It wasn't, uh, yeah. You do know that when you're under anesthesia, when they go to wake you up, sometimes people, like, your memory is not working properly, and you can say shit and do shit that's embarrassing as hell. Do you think he did anything? Was Angela in the room? No, she was not there. I think my uh, me being naked was embarrassing enough. I couldn't get any worse than that. It was horrifying. It, I can only imagine what some of those nurses were thinking. Like, wow, I'd love to fuck him, but nope didn't happen i heard they had a lot of trouble they had to sharpen up the scapels because they had trouble getting through those rock hard abs of yours (laughs) (laughs) is that that true yeah very true actually yeah my stomach doesn't look as good as it used to well speaking of your stomach anyway dakota simon four dollars and 99 cents he said excited to receive my caliber and g tomorrow mike eta on intake mtl love to buy one from hit that juice i also have my eye on that dopo Top Gear DNA 250C. We'll talk about Mike's MTL and also the Dopo Top Gear in a couple minutes. 
But Mike, any uh, ETA? Want to hit that juice and take? Uh, no ETA yet, but I did put the listing up. But uh, I'm still waiting for <clears throat> ETAs. Yep. I would say probably what soon. <clears throat> well, remember they were away. Yeah. I think they got they went back to work uh, today. Like right now, uh, yeah, they're at work right now. Oh yeah, I forgot okay. they had a holiday. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we'll Mike, see. I'm my gonna, question is like, what the fuck is the Top Gear? Well, like, I have no idea what that is. The first I heard of the Top Gear is when Do- Dovpo released the picture on Instagram. I think, I think, but from what I can tell, it looks like a dual battery uh, DNA two fifty C mod that has some sort of a device on top for making adjustments, hmm. and uh, it looks premium as fuck. So. For those people that love mods, dual battery mods, it looks nice. I mean, Dotpo has been putting out some amazing stuff, so we'll see. But it's coming soon, real soon. They say it's a flagship device. So, a top, flag top gear. Ship. Yep. Everything's a flagship nowadays. Yep, yep. I'm a flagship. I'm a flagship uh, YouTuber, actually. I bet you are. Speaking of that little mod that's in your hand, Mark, uh, I've got a question for you. So, in the thumbnail, you guys can look at this. What's going on on the backside there, bud? That's where I keep my uh, my pod system. I was vaping the entire time in the ER, uh, my hospital room. Not the surgical room, because there's no real way to hide this but up your ass. But this thing got me through my entire hospital visit. I will say the Caliburn G. This is probably the only product I've reviewed so heavily because I've been using it every fucking day. Which is kind of sad, but this so will for, get you through. <clears throat> so for people that are saying it looks like a top side cap, it's not a top side cap. It's not a squonk device. It is not a squonk. That's what I was saying. Like people in chat were saying top gear. Like, what the fuck is a top gear? Yeah, I think because it has that little knob on the top, it looks like a top side, and people were confused thinking that it was a squonker, but it's not a squonk. Mike, what's up with the uh, the MTL, man? The intake. You just did your uh, introduction video. Congratulations. Thank you. I think a lot of people, the market's definitely headed toward a, a product like that. I'm uh, very happy with the way it came out. Not, actually, I'm lying. I'm not very, very happy. I was upset that they went and put that clear O-ring. It just bothers the crap out of me. But the thing vapes phenomenal. So you think people are going to be satisfied? Yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything. I know there's going to be people that are going to be like, oh, you should have done a point oh eight millimeter or something like that, whatever it is. Point eight. I'm sorry, millimeter, point oh eight millimeter. But a one millimeter truck is enough for tightness. This thing vapes great. You could customize it. To every, almost every MTL uh, airflow that you want, that's hitting the coil and the intake part of it. Intake. What Sweet. size is it? Twenty four or? Yeah. Twenty four. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, Felix Vapes is in chat. What up, Felix? He said that Element Element Vape has them in stock. I think he's talking about the Top Gear, if I'm not mistaken. Oh damn! Are they? <clears throat> I think that's what he said. Are they actually in stock? Or are they just like... No, it's the same thing I did. I put on uh, the intake MTL on the website, but it doesn't mean it's in stock. Oh, okay. okay. People like to put stuff up early, so this way when the Google search happens, people searching, it pops up early. You want it to be at the top. Good idea. Um, it was pretty interesting when Mike was... Can I talk about when you were working on that intake MTL? Yeah. When you... When you were working on the intake MTL, I remember when the first prototype came in and how you assume because the the concept of the intake is sort of solidified that doing an MTL would have been like an easy progression to get it to the point where it was a good quality vape. Mm -hmm. And it was not good at all when you first got it. I remember. No. There were so much adjustments that you made. Yeah, a lot of adjustments. I have, you know, it's a one thing I'm shocked at myself. 
that I didn't show all the prototypes. I mean, I have them. I got. Let's see, are these the same? Yeah, I have. These are the two different prototypes. I have more over there, but you could see the airflow. On this one, it's only on those openings. There's no other one. And this one has both there and there. Now, I got two more. They're actually at the sink where it's a little bit different, the airflow. On them. I went through a whole bunch of variations. And also with the, but it was, the problem was that it was hard for me to do it because I kept on telling them I need the airflow inserts. It's hard for me to test it with you. They just had a one insert they gave me. And it's like, all right, but what's that going to do? I told you I need all the inserts in order to be able to test it, yeah. to see which, because there were a whole bunch of inserts, but I could only put five because of the five different airflows. So I had to see which ones I was going to use. So it was kind of a delay. And plus with COVID and everything, been working on this since November of last year. I remember. So. <clears throat> And then also the post screws did them reverse threaded because of, I remember with the original intake. See, for me, it wasn't a problem, but a lot of people that were more of a, not too experienced, it was a problem for them because it would, as you're tightening it down, it would push the coil out. So by it being reversed, it prevents that from happening. <clears throat> Mike's always drunk. Hmm. Tom Cassio, I haven't seen that guy in a while. But anyway, it was that. And uh, aesthetics wise, it's basically it looks like an intake. Yeah, it keeps the same look. You know, so it wasn't really a lot. It was more of the inside. I even tried making it to be. That's where a lot of people got confused too. Like during the video when I did this, and I wanted it smaller. What I meant was shorter. You know, I wanted to make it shorter than what it is. But I also wanted to make a 22 millimeter to have a 24 and a 22, but shorter. But because of the way everything is secreted in there, couldn't get it to be any shorter. Well, that's the part that's kind of <clears throat> frustrating for the creator because you get this feedback from people that watch your video and see the, uh, you know, the, the initial video that you made for the product. And they have comments about why did you do this? Why did you do that? And what they don't see behind the scenes is, is that you tried airflow in all different configurations. Yeah. You tried to do things 22 millimeter, make it shorter, make it taller, do this, do that. And they don't realize all the work that goes into trying to nail it so that it's a quality product and also it vapes really good. Yeah. You know? Uh, some people already have it. I know it got released. There was a batch released in the UK. And a lot of people got it. And I've gotten messages, feedback, and people are like, dude, they love it. They said I nailed it. So we'll see. I like to have uh, people that that's all they vape is until to give me their feedback. Yes. And whether I nailed it or not. I'm sure their opinions will be coming shortly. I know. Yep. Well, we'll see. I'm going to put some 18 milligram of this American vintage charger. Take some tight pulls at lower wattage and give you my opinion live on the show. There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> Awesome. Maybe I'll send you. I'll send you. Uh, what I have here? I have some. I got a stainless steel one. But this is it. You know what that would go perfect on, Mike? Yeah. The die codes. Ooh. Yeah. The yeah. one that Mark says I don't vape. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I fucking vape it, he says I'm not really vaping it. Yeah, I'll send. I'll send you this one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Try that. Sweet. I'm better, pretty sure you, this is... you better put a little bit of that green in there if you know what's good for you. Yeah. You know, Mark, too. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Mark, Mark, how much to make that MTL of 2020? 20 bucks. That's all it costs for best of 2020? I'm getting desperate these days. I'm doing $20 videos, best of 2020. Mike, would you be honored to have Mark <laughs> <laughs> share publicly <laughs> that, that that is the best MTL of 2020? <sighs> It takes a lot to actually get a, a best of 2020 title out of me. A lot of money, that is. <laughs> a lot of features. I don't think that's true. <laughs> look, at, look at ST. ST's in chat. TVC fucking hashtag team free shit. 
Here we go. ST's just pissed because yeah. he didn't hit Mike up on Tuesday. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Damn. I don't know why ST's been keeping it a secret that he's been making that Ford Focus ST edition. Mm-hmm. Yep. I knew it. <clears throat> Be careful in chat, folks. By the way, ST likes to hang out and chat and try to get people to give money, <laughs> e-liquid, vape products, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Jack, oh. Jack Mehoff, he gave an Asian $20. Thank you very much. I actually had a company message me overnight last night. Uh, someone, I guess, emailed them to get team free shit, pretending it was me. No shit. It happened again. So, yeah. So they kind of, these people were like, they felt a little iffy. Like, why would Mike be messaging us for disposables to review? So I guess they found my email, messaged me, and they asked, did you email us, whatever, with some other email? I'm like, nope, not me. Don't send them nothing. Yeah, so there's a Mike people Davis get, imposter, I guess, out there. People get desperate. Me, Dude, it's unbelievable. Trying to get free shit. For those that don't know, a few years ago in the vape industry, <clears throat> that was extremely common. Yep. Extremely common for people to create an email or create an account and try to get free stuff from, from manufacturers using other people's names. No. Yeah. See, a lot of the companies, majority of them already have my information, so it's hard for somebody to pretend they're me. They're going to get caught out. Yep. Like, if I'm going to do that, it's not going to be for vape here. I'm going to try to get, a, like, a computer or a car off somebody. Yep. Like, I'm, I'm fucking uh, I'm PewDiePie, and, uh, yeah, can you send me that new MacBook? Thank you. Yeah, not like an RDA or something? No. Yeah. Plus, you have to give them a shipping location where you want the product sent. And then you have to retrieve your package. So it would be really easy to crack down and catch somebody doing something like that. Yeah. You know, unless it's like, I don't know, a P.O. box or something like that. But you still have to go to the P.O. box to retrieve your stuff. There's one person that I know in the community that's really good at doing that shit. He's done it a few times. He's gotten caught. ST. Robert Screlly. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Screlly's a top fucking guy. He would never do something like that. I'm just saying. You like to throw people under the bus and drive over them, Mark. <laughs> Hey, the best was when that one dude was, this was a few years ago. It was like four years ago or something like that with uh, with Matt. Suck yes, my I remember this. And yeah. Matt did that video. Yep. It was basically uh, called him out, the guy, whatever. Didn't something. he call him on the phone, Mike? Yep. Yes, he yep. called him. Yes. Oh, I remember. Matt called. Matt found out who it was, got the telephone number of the person, and called them on the phone and acted like he was the shipping company. And then called the guy out on, on the video. I remember yes. that. Well, that was, not the that was a classic either. moment. Yep. yep. Da, da, Pretty crazy. Da, 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 oh, that's right. Felix said, or they would. They used to say they would get Mike to review it. That's right. Companies would contact, or people would contact companies and say, send it to me, and then I'll get Mike to review this. Yeah. Yep. Dude, we've uh, seen it all, man. There's been so many things like that. The, the the fuckery that goes on behind the scenes sometimes from people just trying to get a handout is, is pretty unbelievable. Pretty unbelievable. Pretty unbelievable. Any, any, any new new? Mama? That's what I was going to say. Any new oh. stuff this week? I got the, the mod that Mike got, the uh, Vaporesso. Not the Vaporesso. Oh, God Aspire. damn it. Aspire and uh, Lost Vape. That looks like the uh, that looks like Vupu though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, like just like it. How does it's pretty nice. How does the quality feel compared to the Vupu? I wouldn't know. I don't have the Vupu one, but this is, feels pretty good. It's nice. The Vupu is a little. I think the screen on the Vupu is a little better, and the it's like heavier. And the Vupu's got that airflow adjustment. But they, do they have air? Oh, they got it's airflow, airflow adjustment more on the coil. No, 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 on the outside. Oh, is it? Yeah, just twist the uh, airflow. Oh shit! It is okay. Never mind. Scratch that idea or that that comment. This is actually nicer than the Vupu. You could even change the colors of the display on this one. Yeah, this is nice. The resolution on that display looks really good. Yeah, Ooh. this is. I think it's a little bit too busy. There's too much stuff for just a plain old water <laughs> device. Kind of wish there was. Uh, I can't see shit. Um, definitely, Amy. Amy said, could we please clarify that Jack Mehoff or Mehoff is from Australia? Yes, we know. Oh, it's from, from Asia. Australia. No, we, He's I was from Asia and Australia. Yes. 
yeah, have you all seen the No Name mod and the Spire mod? I have no clue what that is. I do have another one from Aspire coming. Deco? The Deco mod or something? Deco kit? Some shit? Huh. No one from Aspire. Dude, Aspire's been putting out products like n- nobody's business lately. Yeah. One yeah. after the next. And they're all, they've all been pretty good. Yeah, they used to put out real good stuff. Yep, yep. Uh, Lancelot. Uh, I only I post my videos on YouTube. YouTube, here. YouTube. <laughs> ah, ooh, ah. Oh. What else? What are the new news we got? Oh, yeah, I'm kind of liking this mod. Pretty nice. This one, this is the gunmetal. That's a DNA 75C 21700. What's the battery door like? There you go. Tube. It's from a company called Z, ZQ, I think. Is it ZQ? Hold on. ZQ. Yeah, Mark, what state is Australia in? Yeah. Uh, Australia. Wait a minute. Australia can't be in it. What are you talking about? Stop trying to confuse me. Here we go. What continent? You can't even spell continent. What are you talking about, Alex? That's not how you spell continent. Continent. How are you going to ask me a question when you can't even Isn't spell it the Oceana? question? Oceana? Uh, is that the one that looks like a cold steel 217 i have that too the cold steel ak-47 i showed did i show it here no No, let me show it cold what the hell are we talking about world first i think of cold steel i think of uh the whatchamacallit mod artery baby look at that fucking box that's some high-end shit is that a mod in there, bitch? Holy beyond shit. yourself. What does beyond yourself mean? That can't be a mod. It's too Move nice. Move beyond yourself and into the universe. Look at the layout of everything. Is that a gun? It's in the a gun. gun. Holy shit. Wow. And the, way, the way they laid it out. <laughs> Dude, look at the coils. The, They're bullets. The coils are the ammo. And that got through customs? Holy Jesus. What? It's not. What is it? It's just a picture. It just looks. Look, Keychain. AK-47 keychain it comes with. And it's got the Scarface gold. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my it's God. like a solid piece of gold. It looks wow. cool, but at the same time, I can't believe they would do something like that. But it does look cool. It I looks really cool. I told them that, but, but they said there's no problem with that. What is that. What's the problem? They're like, I don't have a problem with it, but I don't. Yeah, I mean, it could turn some heads maybe, and create some controversy and look bad for the industry. And perhaps. maybe can it look any worse than it is now, though? I mean, technically. I but know. how does it affect the industry? Oh. Everybody's sensitive. Mike. It affects the dumbs. Well, it depends on who, who you it are and what people you. People that are against guns. That's a, that's who it affects. If you're trying to get bipartisan support, though, for things that go through the government, you probably want to make products that appeal to the masses. But I don't even know if that fucking matters because we, I don't know. I don't know. One well, person, okay. I guarantee you, buy that. ST will buy it. Watch. Can I ask you a question? Do they yeah. still sell toy guns? In the toy stores? It depends. Not in uh, in Australia, I'll tell you that. I'm talking about here in the States. Yeah, but these are, yeah. these are products that go global, too. Oh, it's not just goodness. the States. So the politics of the United States don't... Well, we're talking in general because we're in the United we're States. We're in the United States, yes. Yeah, so. <clears throat> it don't bother me. Dude, I used to play with toy guns when I was little. That's all I we did. Them. And they were the best when we were kids because they were like steel and they actually looked like a gun. The plastic shit we got nowadays. Uh, Alex Davila said, "I'm a dem and not against guns." I have Say no it again. Idea. It means uh, Southern Comfort two dollars. He said, "Mark, like you're gonna lecture someone on spelling." That is very true. The, that is Mr. Very true. English major over here. Well, back in the day, Mike, when we were kids, the toy guns actually looked like real guns. They didn't even have that little red marker on the tip of them. Mm. They weighed a lot. They were made of metal. They I were remember when metal. I was a kid. Yeah. I had one, and I was pointed at one of the security guards at some kind of place we were at as a kid, and the security guard got pissed. He thought it was a real gun. Yeah. That was really uh, Alex, when I say Dems, I'm not talking about regular people. I'm talking about politicians that want to ban guns. Yeah. So. What am I looking at? But it's definitely one of the most interesting packaging desi- design decisions that I've seen that utilize a picture with all the different products lined in there like that. Yeah. 
pretty fucking cool looking. I mean, we used to always say like, oh my God, that looks bad for vaping. That looks bad for vaping. But look where we're at now. So technically, I mean, does it really matter what shit looks like? But the, the mod itself does not look like a gun. Oh yeah, I know. The pack, right. I know. So it's just the, pack- well, it's it's the, the packaging the name, and the name. I don't What's, care. You know what I'm saying? If you look at the, this is the retail packaging. Oh, that was just a that was just a box for That's you. That's a special edition box. They're making a thousand pieces to buy off their site. Oh, I see. It's a new trend that these companies are coming out with. But this is the standalone. Now, you tell me, do you see an AK-47 on there? Is there any guns on there? No, it's just called AK-47. I got the motherfucking AK-47 right here, bitch. Yep. I think one of the most controversial mods that ever came out of the market. I know which one he's going to pull out, too. Yeah, we have to show we show this every once in a while for those that haven't watched the show. But this was a product. Yep. It's they put look. so much money into promoting that I've thing. never oh, seen oh. a product being marketed so much. They had, like, art, street artists, and they had models, and all kinds of supercars. And they went around to different like uh, different cities around the world to take photo shoots, and they sent these out. But this was a mod that was bre- a real brass knuckles. Yep. That thing flopped so bad. It flopped really bad. It first of all it was in the state that I'm in, New Jersey. It was banned. You couldn't even sell it. Yep. See, that's different. That's different. That's an actual weapon. You have a, that's a weapon that you can use to bait. Yeah. But you know how, how some people get sometimes, like with the whole game controller and this and that, they're always like, oh, that doesn't look good for vaping. Well, I think whether it looked good or not, yeah, now it really doesn't matter what it looks like. Yeah, Randall Hayes said that mob was like 300 bucks back in the day. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Southern Comfort, uh, $2. He said, I double dare those Dems to try to take mine. There we go. Uh, what was the price when it came out? Yeah, I, it was expensive as shit. It was like three hundred dollars. But you know what? It only lasted me like two months, and then it broke. Wasn't that made by Camry Tech? Some really shitty company. I think yeah, it was, it was Camry, the Camry. Tech. Yeah, Camry Tech board. The uh, the five ten on that mod sucked. It was horrible. There was so much shit wrong with it. Camry always had like interesting ideas that seemed like good ideas, but the fucking execution was always terrible. Mm-hmm. There was always huge issues. There was problems. Things didn't turn out right. But man, some of the stuff they came out with, like when you saw pictures on the internet when they were describing what the mob was going to be, it looked awesome. But then when you got it in your hand, you were like, uh, I don't know. I just can't believe like whoever put all that money into those like weird ass commercials and shit there. Like it just, whew. yeah. I I was happy to get one. Oh yeah, hell yeah! It was, it was unique. It was totally unique, and everybody wanted one. Yeah, but uh, I was happy to get one. But I thought the mod sucked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was well, more of a shelf ornament. Yeah. Battery life sucked. Performance sucked. It was not good. But it's a little piece of vaping history. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we got an agenda to go over. We're running out of time. Running out of time. Check out Hit That Juice for all your vaping needs. Use code Amy Relish 10 for 10% off. And as we said before, the clutch is back in stock. So if you make an order right now during this show, Mike will legit, after the show, head over to his table, pack that shit up, and it will be out first thing in the morning. You will have a clutch as soon as possible. He's yep. waiting wow. for your order. Overnight I'm waiting. He's waiting right now. He will get up right down during the show if there's an I'll, order this I'll place. I'll package it and go wait at the post office all night when it's open. <laughs> yeah, of course he will. He's committed like that. Very Pretty Overnight yep. shipping. Mike will get up during the show, walk over to the table, and ship out your package right here on the show. Yep. He's just waiting for it. Uh, we got a special happy birthdays this week. We got a happy birthday for Ed Cap. Happy birthday to you, Ed Cap. Ed Cap? That's his name? Ed Cap. Yep. Oh, Ed hold Cap? up, hold up, hold up. If you order it now, I'll actually package it live right here in the stable. You will get a custom packaged from Mike Vapes live just for you on the vape team. If you order I'll it. even throw in a Mike Vapes keychain. And, and a oh, free Mike Vapes keychain right I'm now. I'm over there right, right now. now. I'm getting two of them. Yep. Mike's going to keep up on it right now. And he'll even give you a shout-out on the show for placing your order. Yep. Damn. There we go. And what if you get, out? like, 100 orders, Mike? It'll be a long show. Shit. We're we'll, staying alive. Fuck it. We'll stay alive all night long tonight. We have absolutely yep. nothing else to do. So if you want shout-outs and if you want keychains, order the clutch from hitthatjuice.com right now. 
But don't forget to use code AmyRelish10 for 10% off. Uh, also, Aaron Bush has a birthday. Happy birthday, oh, Aaron Bush. Happy birthday. A- Aaron Bush? Aaron Bush. Is yep. a female? Aaron Bush, yep. And her last name is Bush. Yes. Wow, <clears throat> that had be a really rough name to grow up as a child. Aaron Bush. For the message of the week, go oh. to vote.org to find out where to vote and how to register in your state. So go out there and vote. Head to vote.org and uh, find out where to register in your state before time runs oh. out. This is a fun fact, and it's actually a really good fact. The average housefly lives for only a few days, has almost an entire liquid diet, and can taste with their feet. Now, how do you? They liquefy do, their food, by the way, with whatever they put on it from the room. How do people know that they can taste? I don't care if you're a scientist or whatever you are, a bugologist. You can't tell these things. You're, yeah, they, you're they, guessing. I don't think that science is guessing, Mark. How can th- they tell what someone? They probably okay. have sophisticated methods for figuring out these types of things, man. They're, okay, so how much money has been put into a? What's the word I'm looking for? The research. The research to see what a fucking fly can taste. Probably a huge amount. Why? Because they want to learn about how all of these insects Im- impact the environment and impact oh. food production and everything. The, the 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 balance of the environment. They could have been doing a lot more better things and learning about flies and tasting. Uh, we have a riddle of the week. Here it comes. What can you catch? But never throw. What can you catch and never throw? We're going to give Chad a little bit of time to get it. Herpes? That is actually probably true. <laughs> I think that's fucking true. No, I think you can throw herpes. Can't you? Can you? I think you can. All right. So hopefully everybody's in chat doing it. But the answer is a cold. A cold. There you go. You can catch a cold, but you can't throw it. Uh, also, big shout out, one of the members of the, the Vape Team Facebook group who's hopefully watching the show and recovering tonight, Joel Stewart. We just want to give a very, very uh, big shout out. Uh, Joel is in the hospital, and we're wishing him a speedy recovery and sending our love. So, Joel Stewart, I know you went to the hospital, and you had a big scare, but hopefully you're on the mend, my friend, and we're thinking about you, and we hope everything goes well. Um... The hospital Amy just messaged me, Mike. She said, I do not think I have a Mike Vapes keychain. What the fuck? What? How does she not have a Mike Vapes keychain? I don't know. Can I trade in my Mike Vapes coffee cup for a keychain? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I think you can. Uh, Matt Rowland said you can catch Blue Waffle, but you can't throw it. That's true, I think. Blue Waffle is pretty f- sexy, if you ask me. Ooh, Jesus. Um, First time I Googled that, last time I Googled it. Also, if you're interested, the best membership on YouTube is the Vape Team. It's less expensive than Fagan's, and it has more perks. I doubt that. And if you join the group, uh, you can get a special random member shout-out on the show. And we're going to shout-out Mike Berg tonight. We're going to shout-out Tor Arola. Wow. We're going to shout-out Leslie, Leslie Vaping. And we're going to shout-out Joe Clark. So people got to pay to get a shout-out on this show? We- Jesus Christ. It's Thanks, a rip-off. Man. I'm offended. Also, be on the lookout in the coming week. Uh, the, be on the lookout. <laughs> <laughs> be on the lookout in the Vape Team Facebook group for a special promotion where we are going to be celebrating recovery. Uh, we're going to be celebrating recovery. Amy Relish is going to be collecting information to share on a special shout out segment to celebrate together. Together. So you know, substance abuse and addiction impacts all of us, whether it's directly or indirectly, with family or friends or ourselves. And definitely, we want to take time to give credit where credit is due for people that are recovering. What's up, Mike? Alex Phipps. You're just getting a shout-out. He just ordered two black clutches. I'll be packaging them for you right now. Right now. Here we go, folks. Damn. We're, we're doing this. Look at that. Right? We're doing this. Two black clutches. Shout-out to you. What everyone should do is go order one, have Mike pack it up, and then cancel it. Nope. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Dude, uh, you are a piece of shit. Oh, uh, that would hurt. Bam. There we go. Custom in hand right now. There's the boxes. 
There's Man. the keychain. Does he get one keychain or two? Does he need two? He gets two keychains. Two oh, okay. fucking keychains. You heard it here, folks. That must oh. be his birthday. By the way, I don't get a percentage of any sales that Mike gets on Hit That Juice. If Mark was promoting anything on Bam. his show, he would totally be getting a kickback. Yes, that is correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Let's, let's quiet down, everyone, and we can watch the process as it happens. Notice the way that Mark very easily folds that box you know, like a professional. Now, you notice one thing I noticed about Mike when he shipped his packages? He's illegally using post office envelopes. <laughs> Dude, you were a horrible <laughs> fucking Fred. You were a joking. horrible Fred. Yeah, because I ship it out through the post office. I do the same thing he does, so it is wow. what it is. Dude, uh, never tell Mark a secret and never go into business with him because he will stab you in the back. That is. that is pretty nice. Look at it. It's already out in the mail. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that. Look. Are you going to put an extra piece of tape can on you, top? Oh, of course. Can, nice. you, can you lick the box for him? There we go. And now I'm just going to write over here. You're so I know this is his so I can do the label. Alex Phipps. Wow. Man. Look at that. There you go, Alex. Package. Going yeah, well, Mark is a snitch, Mike Berg. No Thank doubt about much. it. Terry wants to know if you'll take checks. No, we don't I'm... take checks, Terry. And right now, I'm taping it. You hear that? You I'm tape? taping. I hope it's a good tape. Do you get better customer service than what we just saw here on the show tonight, folks? Hit that juice dot com. And I, when I do my taping, I tape it here, mm -hmm. here, mm. and Ooh, here. So it's Ooh. here. Ugh. Secure and ready to ship out. Look at that. He's hitting it from three sides. Three sided wow. taping, too. Damn. Oh, uh, DC, no no EBT cards yet. <laughs> All right. So we have secret squirrels tonight, and they are called the Great Gallbladder Squirrel. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the, the Great Gallbladder Squirrel. Now, this is going to be a secret squirrel. By the way, Thank you for placing that order. That was fucking awesome. And Mike, you're a pro professional, and you keep your hey, word, unlike Mark. Just hey, now. Hey, now. So we have three great gallbladder squirrels from Inakin. This is international, so anywhere you live in the world, Inakin's going to take care of it for you. If your name is called, you need to contact amyrelishcoo at gmail.com. In the subject line, you need to put Inakin winner, and then we need your name, your address, your telephone number, and a picture of of a photo ID. And the reason we need a photo ID is to prove who you are and also to prove your age. This show is for adults only. Vaping is an adults only thing. And we need to make sure that you're an adult in order to be a winner. All right. So there you go. Mark. Do we look like adults? Do you, we look, act like adults? you look like you just escaped from a clinic or something like that. It does. That and if you live in an apartment and you win and you don't put your apartment Everything number down, he... you don't get the fucking gift. Well, obviously, the... that's called their address. You don't get the squirrel. Or someone that won a, something on my end on Sunday, and they didn't put the apartment number down, and now they're not going to get their their gift because they didn't put their apartment so number down. So the number for tonight is 72. I think we all agree that number 72 should be the number. 72 is what it is. Bring out the random comment picker. Random comment picker. We call That's not random comment picker. We do Mike, are you sure that order. that wasn't Amy that ordered those two clutches with a fake account? 72, no. 72. Okay. That was Alex. He's in chat. I'm just making making sure. I wanted to check my uh, my PayPal to make sure. Oh, we got a 70 it. and a 75. We don't have a 72, though. Let's try it again. Shall we? 72 coming from the backside, going underneath, in between the legs. Oh, it's member three months. Sorry. Let's try that again. Going down by the bush. Yes, sir. Going Woo. by the bush. 72. We got a winner. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, let's just say, is it Shelly or Chili? Chili Satiri? Oh, God. C H E L L E. Chelly? S O U T I E R E. That is not anywhere around here. Congratulations, Chelly Satiri. I have don't even know how to say your name. But uh, yeah, number two. Number two for 72 is going to be. Partha, P A R T H A. Congratulations! It sounds like a. It sounds like a piece of clothing that you wear over your vagina. A Partha. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you wearing a Partha today? Yes, I am. How'd you know? All right, here we go. Seventy-two, number three. 
<laughs> is somebody's gonna take that and make a product called a partha that's gonna be huge. <laughs> the partha. The partha. I've never seen this name in my life. Grouchy coffee guy. Congratulations to the grouchy coffee guy. Does it say grouchy or grunchy? It says grouchy. Grouchy yeah. coffee guy. There you go. You grouchy son of a bitch. You won. So now you can stop being grouchy, you son of a bitch. Congratulations. And by the way, I own the Partha trademark. So if anyone comes out with a Partha. I think the person in chat actually owns that. And it's probably their name. It could be. Ooh. All right, everybody. We've had winners tonight. Oh. Who you calling a winner? And, uh, we've had people that had custom built boxes by Mike Vapes, which is fucking amazing. We've yep. seen world firsts. We've talked about world events. Everything went well tonight, folks. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mark, your fucking road to recovery has begun. And uh, I wish you would stand up and grab that mod off the counter over there to show everybody. I think there's shit on my ass, though. Oh. oh my god. They're fucking <laughs> shit on it. Dude <laughs> There was <laughs> there I was... told you there might be shit on it. I couldn't wipe it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, there was legitimate shit on your ass <laughs> <laughs> and it's on your fucking chair. Uh. Oh my god, that was fucking disgusting. Oh, that hurt. Uh. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Uh. Mike, please help. I don't think it's shit because it doesn't smell. It's that. What is it? A piece of tree bark? Uh. <laughs> I mean, uh. What else could it be? It might be. I don't know. You probably lost a little sense of smell. Yeah. We just probably. lost like fucking 80 people. <laughs> That's oh, fucking dude. disgusting. That was rough. <laughs> dude, have you been sitting here naked this whole time? Yes. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> Ooh. Uh. <laughs> uh. I hope my little balls didn't pop out. I don't know. We're, I'm sure we're going to see a gif of that in the vape team in about oh, two seconds. Lord, no. Uh, Amy's working on it right now. Right now. That was not a very good shot of me either. Dude, is it ever a really good shot? <laughs> Sometimes it is, but that was not a good shot of me. I don't either. know about that. That was a little wrinkly on that one. Let's let's inspect to see if it's shit. I want to know. I, it can't be shit. There's no way I shit down my leg. <laughs> not shit. I would uh, smell it with shit. The good <sighs> news is when you watch the show, you don't eat snacks late night. Because you I fucking throw up all over the place. It's painful. All right, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next Thursday night. Same vape time, same vape channel on the vape team. Thanks for watching. And uh, nothing but love to everybody out there. We'll see you next time. Anything Bye. else, by the way? Mike, anything? Oh, no, that's it. Good night, that's everyone. It. Good night, everyone. Mark? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Oh, God. I'm right. <laughs> Wow, that was horrible looking. When the outro like, begins now. I thought it might have been my better side, because I had like one good side and one bad side, and that, I think, it was the bad side. My other butt cheek looks nice and tight and round. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a fucking mess back there, Mark. You should focus on that next. It looks horrible. Wow. Alex Davila said, screen, screen clip that. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. Oh my god. I guarantee you I know one person that's jerking off right now. Good old Southern Comfort. Shut your mouth, Jason.